to Valerie's journey to a healthier lifestyle. I hope you all follow me along in this exciting new journey. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you real quick and let you know some things that have changed. Um, I already went over the vitamins with you guys the other day, but I wanted to show you. We added the vitamin D3 and what my doctor had told me is that not only the vitamin B12 subling, sublingual, sublingual is going to give you the energy, vitamin D3 gives you energy as well. So I've been really tired and weak a lot, so he said this should help with that. So add that in with your vitamin B12. Um, my calcium, I've been taking it wrong. I've been taking it all at once, and he told me to split it up during the day. And now that I am taking my separate D3, I can cut this back to 1,200 milligrams instead of 1,600. So I'm only taking two of these a day now. My biotin, I'm taking 5,000 MCGs. He said I can up that to 10,000. Fantastic for me. Anything I can do that can help me prevent losing my hair, the better. I'm taking 10,000 of these now, and I also use a special biotin hair shampoo and conditioner. Vitamin C, I'm still taking that. Uh, 500 milligrams, 250 in the morning and 250 at night. My chewables, still taking those once a day. And no matter how long you have had your gastric sleeve, you are always going to need your protein shake. You need at least 50 to 75 grams of whey protein. Okay, so I this isn't the type I normally drink, but we didn't have they didn't have the premiere, so we got the muscle milk instead. These are too thick for me. They're chocolate. I don't like any other flavor. What I do is I put some of the some of this in a blender with ice and some skim milk, blend it all up, and I have like a chocolate milkshake. So that's what I do for my shake. No matter how long you have had your surgery, plan on always having your protein shake because it does not matter how much protein you eat. You're never going to get enough protein in your system without a shake. And this is not a meal replacement. This is extra protein. So I drink one of these every day, and I also drink an IsoPure. I know everybody hates the IsoPures, but I can stomach it. Plus I have my whey protein powder that I mix in with my foods. So anyway, that's what I do. Um, I was able to add some foods in. I, it's hard to eat a half a turkey burger, so I don't really even get a half a turkey burger down, otherwise I feel uncomfortable. I can eat shrimp now, so what I do is I picked up a bag of frozen shrimp. I'll put a few of those in some olive oil and garlic and I'll microwave them so I'm not frying them in any oil or anything like that. And that's always a good quick little meal. Uh, an egg, turkey sausage, I don't eat much. Um, four or five times a day, little bits here and there. Taking my medications and all these vitamins, that's like a meal right there. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. So guys, it's that time of week again, and I am getting ready to step on the scale. Let's see what it says. 153.8. Woohoo!